Okay, morning. Uh, training the night again. It's been a while since we, we spoke to you. Obviously, uh, we're, in a, we're in a split now, so it's dog eat dog battle. Uh, last weekend's game against Newry, disappointing. Just give us your thoughts. Yeah, I said the players after the game, I was I was very disappointed. Look, I can take getting beat, but we didn't go about it right. Um, their enthusiasm wasn't there, their energy wasn't there. Um, and that's probably the thing that disappointed me. You know, look, I, I said people were talking about it's a big game, but I said this before coming in, it's going to go right to the wire for me, what I think. Um, and look, we didn't turn up. You know, simple as that. I'm not going to stand here, make excuses. You were better than us in the night. Uh, but you know we'll put it to bed now and we'll move on to the big game Saturday. Uh, what sort of things do you think went, went went wrong last week in terms of you know going down a, a goal early? I, I I don't think we set the tempo to ourselves. You know right from the kick off we we'll kicked the ball out, um, give away a silly free kick, put ourselves right on the back foot, and look, you know we we'll, we'll probably had a chance whenever we were getting beat. We probably could have got us out of jail, but goals change games and. As I say, they were just, we didn't go about it right, you know, there's there's no excuses, I said to the boys after, not one to stand here and say it's one of them, it was it was a poor performance by us, um, but you know, at the end of the day, the boys have been brilliant for me since they've come in, you're going to get that, I said that you're going to win games, you're going to lose games, and I think it was just the, the manner of the way we went about it was a disappointing thing. I suppose for you, you're probably scratching your head, the fact that the, you know, the previous game against Crusaders was the same team, and... You know, to get to, to do so well against Crusaders and then against Newry just to, to turn up and expect the same thing. Look, it's, it's no disrespect to the, the players or Newry, but it's a mindset with footballers, and that's why I said this top players play at the top level. They, they go out to beat. Look, you look at Man City, teams want to beat Man City week in, week out, but they're professional. They go and do, do your job in teams no matter who they play against, and that's exactly what I said to the players. Where, you know, they've probably raised their games against teams that are above them, the pressure was on them. Um, against the team below them and unfortunately we, we couldn't step up to the plate but look I'm not going to stand here I said that to them after I'm not going to stand here and and you know uh, as I say be disappointed you know um, at the end of the day the game's gone we've moved on from it and we're looking forward to one Saturday and I suppose on a positive note against Newry you've seen obviously Jordan Shearer come off the bench at half time just Talk us through, uh, you know, yourself, the Jordan and the squad, and then bring them all at half time. Yeah, look, I've had Jordan and Jonah. I'm up training ways, and look, I've been to a couple of the games with the with the eighteens. Um, you know, the kids scored what thirty goals. You you don't, you know, have half a chance if you've hit them goals at whatever level. But I like what I've seen of him. You know, he's direct. Um, and I said this before. You know, I'm not scared to put kids in. I've done it with with Limfrey, to put TJ, Paul Smith in. Um, uh, you know, if, if you're good enough for me, you're old enough. And as I say, Jordan's been up training with him. Look, he's still raw, but he will get better. And I, I just I like the kid. There's something about him, but he's got to keep his feet in the ground. And moving on now to the game this week, uh, home to the Glen Torn. They've obviously a change of manager. Uh, you know, what, what are you going to say going, going into that game? It'll be a difficult one because obviously you know uh, Michael and, and Wendy's went in there, Paul, but. Sometimes it's hard, you know, their, their players will be want to put their thoughts across to the manager. I mean, a good result last week, Michael, um, against Dungannon. But at the end of the day, I said this, you know, all we can do is worry about ourselves. You know, they're a fantastic club, Glenshorn, a uh, big club. Still say this, Limfe and Glenshorn, for me, are the two biggest clubs in the country. Um, and you'd like to see Glenshorn, and, and hopefully they will be back up where they, where they should be. But, you know, all we can do in our, our point of view is it's another game, it's an exciting game for our boys, and one that we've got to, we've got to um, you know, fully concentrate on. And, and put in a big performance. And the games are, you know, are, are going down bit by bit. Uh, with a big travelling away support last week, down in your area, you obviously encouraging them fans to, to come and support the boys this weekend. Definitely. Look, there's what three weeks to go the season, four weeks um, of the league, and then hopefully, as I say, we've got that aim to get into that playoff position. But the fans have been brilliant since they've come in. Um, you know, it was difficult for them because, as I say, it's not what I was about as a player and what I wanted last week, but. We need your support right to the end. That they've been fantastic, and you know I think the boys have repaid them where a few of the performances were put in. But you know, last week was a one-off, um, and yeah, just get out and support the team right to the end and, and give ourselves a chance.